Andy's phone is his shoe, and it's going to start to ring live on the air. His phone is his shoe. Hey, I got I to gotta talk to you later. I'm doing a Skype thing. Oh, hey, what's Andy, up? what's up, man? Uh, I'm just, you know, chilling, hanging out. I see the uh, the hypnosis seems to have not worn off, dude. It appears that you still believe that your shoe is your phone. It's like, uh, I mean, honestly, it was just like the strangest thing I'd ever done, ever. Dude, first of all, let me just say, okay, that the fact that you came around our subreddit yeah. And did this was so funny because when we were making this video, there were so many, or when we posted it, there were so many questions about if it was real. A lot of people came out saying, well, you know, you're funny, you do a lot of funny jokes and stuff, but hypnosis is actually real, and I believe that this clip was real. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I read, so I was yeah. reading through that because, you know, I wondered, like, I mean, I'm surprised that was even a conversation at all. Like, I, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, our, our community is, like, known for being relatively skeptical right yeah and so when i saw those comments i was like okay well <laughs> i mean maybe maybe yeah i don't probably... know man it's like so here's the deal i think hypnosis works i think you shouldn't <laughs> do it on a set of a show that has the people working on the show actually being hypnotized that's yeah. crazy the whole backstory is like what well what i thought yeah well why don't we start maybe by saying by just kind of explaining what happened that day that fateful day so man, I've been working at uh, HLN for a while, and like it was kind of like the little brother of CNN that they don't give any money to. Okay. So it's my job to like floor the show. I got to make sure everybody's like hooked up. I'm like the guy counting by the cameras, you know, like doing that thing, and I'm like okay. really into it. Cool. Cause like I'm like, oh man, I would love to be on TV. Like I see these people do it, I could do it, and uh, <laughs> then like. I made this friend with this producer and she walked by and she was like, hey Andy, yeah, we're like going to go get hypnotized. You want to get hypnotized? And I was like, <laughs> what? So I go and I ask like the other dudes who work there, I'm like, guys, can I just like split for a sec and go try this thing? Right. And we get in this room man, and it's like, you know, a crappy old like CNN weather co like conference room and we're all like, there's a bunch of us all jammed in like chairs and this dude like walks in and is all like, hey, we're going to hypnotize everybody. Now this is the guy. Yeah, this yeah. is the guy. This the Michael the Scott of hypnosis. <laughs> Dude, it was so weird. So we were, sit, we were just sitting there, man. He's like, you know, walking us through the like, all right, you know, you're in a peaceful field. He starts like tapping people, like heads up seven up. They're like, if they can't get hypnotized, like get out of here. So so what you're saying is that there was 40 people and he carefully selected down to two who yeah. would be the, at the selected. So it's kind of like, I mean, in a way that kind of suggests like, yeah, he knows it's fake too, right? I mean, I think so. Or yeah, I mean, totally, totally, yeah, totally man. Like, I don't know. I was just like, yes, picked. So. Damn, you must have been selling that. What were you thinking about when you were sitting there meditating? I was like, I am going to be the calmest motherfucker. And I just like sat there as like calm as I could. And I was like trying to listen it's, like, so hard. And, and then he like, and then he didn't tap me and I was like, Yes, he was like, man, you and Jennifer are in the show, but dude, Jennifer. And you can remember, what's your name? <clears throat> Je Jennifer. Was everybody's boss. Okay, oh. that, that, I noticed that detail in the AMA, and that really surprised yeah, me. that's really interesting. Yeah. Like, why would she put herself in the position to be humiliated uh, to her whole crew? Well, last <sighs> way. Yeah, I mean, it was, dude, it was, it was so weird, like, because she never really talked to me. Like, I don't think she really got my vibe. <laughs> and, like, yeah. I get it, it's fine, but, like. So like you know later I like find like I this was the first time I talked to her on this yeah. show even though I'd worked on her show for like you know half a year okay. and then the only time like I talked to her afterwards I was gonna just kind of be like hey you know I've been telling everybody here that this is like legit but you know you're like between me and you like you just needed to be like be sane for a minute and like level with her. Yeah, because like I needed to connect with somebody who was like in this weird thing. <laughs> yeah. and it's just like no, it happened. I was hypnotized. It was all real. I was like. Okay. <laughs> also, I mean, to be fair, like, yeah. he really laid it on you, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hers, hers was just like, you're confused. But you were like, 
A language does not exist. Your phone is your shield. Your uh, Ron Burgundy. I was like, holy shit. Andy's phone is his shoe. He'll take off his phone, tell the person I'll call him back, put his phone back. He won't be able to speak to me in English. He'll only speak a language that does not exist. Andy, when I ask you what your name is, your name is now Ron Burgundy. And I'm like, that's not funny. I'm like, you're trying to make me do these things because it's going to be so funny when it's like, oh, this guy thinks he's, uh, you know, that Anchorman show. I'm like, dude, I don't want to do this. He remembered. See, I, I, my thing was that I was sure you were an actor because yeah. I thought there's no way he's going to pick someone out and they're going to be able to pull off the Ron Burgundy with the shoe yeah. with the inventing the new language. But I got to say, you you did that guy as good as anyone yeah. could have. I think he was expecting way too much, dude. Yeah, well, it's like I also, you know, was kind of like just trying to do it. Like, he's, he's going to hypnotize me. I'm not going to, like, go out there and just freaking dog and pony it, man. I'm like, hypnotize me. You're a hypnotist. Oh, it's your man. job, right? So do you know anything about that guy? Like, who was he? Where did he come from? I think he's like a he, – so he's went to the – so he was doing a show at the Punchline, which is like a comedy club in Atlanta, like an older one. Like, not like – Kind of comedy club that has hypnosis comedy routines. Yeah, and I was talking to my sister, and she says that she's almost sure that guy went to her college to do it at like 1 a.m. on some like sorority dance night. So I think this is just his deal. Okay. Mm. Like, I hope he doesn't have patience, but he might. I don't know. What do you do as a hypnosis with your patient? My God. People say that it's like you can use it for therapy. Yeah, no, like... okay. Well, I guess a lot of people were angry. I could see the difference between like chilling out with like a psychiatrist and talking about like some dude who raped you or some shit. Yeah. But if you're talking oh, yeah. about Ron Burgundy answering his phone as a shoe, it seems like it's not even consider yeah. like you can't consider those things to be in the same field even. Yeah, and it's like uh, it's like my brain is like no, like you know, it's like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The times him dies, like, your your shoes, your phone. I'm like oh, <laughs> like something a little less stupid. <laughs> oh, like the shoes are big, like they're hard to take off, man. Like is that the like same shoes you got? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, <laughs> those are legendary. You can't ever throw those out. I'm just doing this. Well, I was thinking when we were doing that, I would love to talk to this guy. Yeah. I actually said that to Eli. I yeah. want to talk to this guy. And sure enough, you came up for the AMA. It was just, it was kind of like magic, dude. Uh, somebody posted it on my wall, and I was like, what is this? And uh, like, I was like in the middle of doing something, and I got home, and I was like, holy crap. There's like 20 minutes about me in this like stupid throwaway thing. They're like quoting me to myself, and I was That's like, what are you so talking about? A lot of people were like, man, you know, I'm, I'm surprised you can take that, like all that ridicule. I'm like, dude, I feel like he's... God, he sees where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's no, like, I wasn't. Yeah. We definitely yeah. were. It was him. It was the it was the hypnosis guy. who yeah. was the fucking buffoon. Yeah, yeah dude, totally, man. Yeah. That guy was just like throwing That's... so much at us, and like, <laughs> yeah. it was just like, all right, you know. And then like, I got compliments afterwards. Everyone was like, "Andy, great job on the hypnosis." Thing. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Well, also, it's the suggesting that somehow you weren't hypnotized. Great job, dude. <laughs> That's Good true. performance. <laughs> Like every and then immediately cry was the reason it was great. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, know, dude. Well, obviously the classic lines, dude, need to be addressed here. <laughs> the first, the first one was, "I'm just doing this." I'm just doing this. So I'm like, okay, so like, here I am, man. And he's like, he's telling me my phone is my shoe, and I'm just like trying really hard, like not to let judgment <laughs> enter the equation. I'm just trying to like, my phone is my shoe. Okay, fine. My phone's my shoe. I accept this reality. And then he tells me, and I open my eyes, and I'm like, nope, I'm in the same place I was. So, but I'm like, but they're gonna get mad if I don't take off my shoe. So I like start taking it off, and then by the time I like got it in my lap, I'm like, I'm not gonna answer my shoe. Go saying? ahead, just go, get, hurry. Get, okay. I, mean, I just. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. You're good. My fault. <laughs> well, I'm not. And I'm just holding it. And then like that's when he busts in. I mean, like I'm a jerk. He's like, Andy, what are you doing? What What are you doing with your shit? What I, are you I doing? Don't know what I'm doing? Yeah, I love yeah. that. I love that specifically. Like, dude, why are you ruining this show for me? I'm answering your shoe is what I'm doing. Yeah. Which is just the, the, the thing you asked and now you're being a dick about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So. That was one of my favorite parts that yeah. somehow this was supposed to be an enjoyable experience, but he was clearly just trying to humiliate you both. And then like, so yeah, I just said I was just doing it. And I was like, I'm done. Like, I'm so hypnotized, you know, man, look at me. <laughs> Afterwards, I just left. Like, he was just like, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, bye. <laughs> I've never saw him again. It's so bizarre. Okay, bye now. Smell you later. Wouldn't that be so great if someone was just like, I'm not, I'm fine, dude. I'm not, my shoe's my shoe, dude. Probably some <laughs> of the people that he didn't choose. Did yeah, that. he sensed that. Well, it would have been, he would have snapped me and I would have just been like, stop. He, he would have snapped woo <laughs> your ass, dude, so fast if he tried to deny his orders. Dude, he snapped woo me so good. And it was like, 
And it was like, but basically, like, so the other part of that is just grabs your arm and he, like, kind of, like, yanks you. Like, you're asleep. Let me just follow me into sleep land. Way down deep, deeper. Little. I yeah, didn't I notice the yanks. People were talking about the yanks. Yeah, Did you know, grabs those? your wrist like a cop and sort of, like, pulls you Okay, down. Uh. someone, people were mentioning as evidence that it was real, saying that that wrist yeah. grab was somehow an interesting little technique. People are fucking... People lost their damn minds about hypnosis being real. I was very surprised. And now I can finally say, you know what, you guys? Fucking bite me. That shit was fake as hell. Except maybe the executive producer who was clearly and truly hypnotized. And you can remember, what's your name? <clears throat> John Jennifer. There was a couple moments there where she was truly relaxed. I saw there was some great like exhales when she was like, <sighs> relax, wait. Dude, when you had it like, it's like, dude, I'd be running. And then she's just like, just it like goes in, bam! Like, Woohoo! <laughs> Woo. The famous line, I think, the one that stuck with everyone the most. I'm a person. <laughs> I'm a person. Yeah, man. It's just like you know. Sometimes you just like tell the truth. I feel that. <laughs> it's time like, to get real. Yeah, I'm a person. You know. <laughs> that was kind of like a plea for like help in a way, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. Remember, I'm a person. Well, it was when they started like talking about me as if I wasn't there and I wasn't yeah. the one trying to make answer your shoe. The key words that you used. Yeah. What if I say those words in an hour? Let's Are they back there? Let's find out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's not going to work like that. <laughs> Don't like, with us. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm a person. And it's like I understand that I'm not getting paid to do this, but guys, I'm a person. <laughs> Was that the actual intent behind the comment, or were you just like uh, befuddled? Or I was, you... dude. I think like that's if if I were to analyze myself now, that's <laughs> what I think I meant. But I just kind of was I at that talk, point, yeah. and I was just like, <laughs> like getting balls thrown at me, and I was just <laughs> like, whoa. Dude, I can. I honestly can only imagine the request to speak in a language that was never uttered yeah. by another person alive. Yeah. A bit much. To only speak a language that does not exist. You know, like I do improv comedy on mm -hmm. a pretty regular basis. And like, you know, you make up fake like languages, but I was like, no, this is real. And I'm gonna try my best to make it real. And yeah, he's like speaking a fake language. And I just like, again, I opened up my eyes. I was like, no, like, <laughs> I can't and I don't. That was perfect. Well, it's, not only did he say it, he he says it in a way that was so confident and like dominated. Yeah. Andy will speak in a language that has never been uttered by another existing person. However, when I shake their hand, they won't be able to speak to me in English. They won't be able to speak at all in English. They'll only speak a language that does not exist. And then, like when he finally dropped the, uh, can you remember your name? I was really impressed. Now, in retrospect, that I know the whole story, that you even remember it. And I was thinking, is does he actually trying to remember, or is it just part of the bit? Because you're like Ron Burgundy. Thank God, dude, for him that you remembered. Ron. Ron. Nice to meet you, Ron. I, I didn't catch your last name. What was your last name? Uh, uh, Burgundy. Well, that was like that was just like the one part of bullshitter me coming out. That was like, you know, whatever they want, you got to give it to them. And that part like squeaked out the Ron Burgundy. <laughs> How does it feel to become a living meme? I like it. You know, I. Uh, I had like I have like one kid who I know who lives like in the outskirts of Georgia who's just like Andy, I can't believe you're on H three's channel. <laughs> it's just like last night he freaked out and I was like, all right. So I'm starting to like meet my fans everywhere. You know, one thing though that I will say that was interesting is and I think you you edited and showed it, but like when he, she starts interrupting before the snap, which was the you know you will start interrupting when I snap. So I was like, man, see, it's like your snaps aren't even working anymore. <laughs> Like we're jumping it's, snaps. Yeah. It's like, and he was snapping so much, he's like giving you guys a stroke, man. The snapping yeah. was out of hand. Straight and do that. Sleep. Actually, yes. Ricky, yes. Ricky, yeah. can I, so, oh, I uh, never had a chance anything like this. I can actually about it, and I talk about it. Cool thing is, I not only love entertaining and teaching people how to do You okay? Sleep. It was just white noise. Like, I didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Also, I think one of my favorite parts was like, he goes to the host, he's like, Are you, wouldn't you love to know how this works? He's like, Okay, sure. He's like, okay, so these guys are gonna tell you how it is to be hypnotized. But while they do that, he, they're all gonna have strokes and think they're wrong burgundy and forget how to speak the language. Yeah. It's like cool, cool news story, bro. It's uh, like, I'm actually gonna tell you how it works. Yeah. Uh, let me just break a couple of people. Let me just confuse everybody even more. Do you have a YouTube or a Twitter or like something you wanna shout out? You want to have people check you out? You doing comedy? I 
Yeah, I mean, well, I guess uh, you can just, um, I, you know, I do improv comedy, so if you're ever in Atlanta, check out Daz Garage Theater, and at Daz Garage is our handle, and you can go see like, all the videos we make. Yeah. Is that uh, a group that, that like, you're a part of? Yeah, we got a big improv comedy club in Atlanta. I wasn't um, in it when I was doing this segment. Uh, yeah. I was still, like, taking class and kind of, like, going up through it. Uh, but, yeah, I do shows all the time, so, awesome. you know, So what was that again? Uh, Dad's Garage Theater in Atlanta. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Appreciate it. And the AMA was amazing. You're the best, dude. <laughs> Andy. Guys, check him out. Links in the description to Andy's stuff <laughs> here on the screen. Snap Woohoo, the real person. A legend. The legend. <laughs> a truly. Thanks, dude. It's a pleasure. Yeah, appreciate it. And I appreciate you not snap wooing me. That was very cool. I would <laughs> never do that, dude. I would not do that to a real person. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Peace, dude. Peace, dude. Nice to meet you.